There have been many deadly and scary diseases to have harmed humans throughout history. Some of them are still present, whereas some are eradicated. But there has been at least seven infectious diseases which were quite lethal and most of us nowadays hardly even know they existed. 1. The Black Death One of the worst bacterial infections that claimed lives of approximately 75% of Europe's population mowed everyone in its path from 1346 to 1353. Medieval people knew close to nothing about personal hygiene and disinfection, so it was almost impossible for them to determine what caused the infection, how it spread, and how to treat it. At the time, garbage was everywhere. People rarely bathed if they did at all, so it wasn't strange that the bacteria found such a fertile ground to overtake. Historians now believe it started in the steppes of Central Asia, where a large number of rodents live in great density on vast grasslands because this plague is mainly spread through the bite of a flea infected with the bacteria causing this infection, and fleas typically live on small animals like rats, gerbils, and other rodents. The infection is lethal to the rodents, as well as to humans who develop symptoms such as fever, headache, chills, and weakness within three to five days of the bite. Infection can also spread throughout the bloodstream and affect the respiratory system. If not treated promptly with antibiotics, 80% of infected people die within five days. Even though it was one of the worst cases of this type of disease, it was neither the first case nor the last one, nor has the disease been completely eradicated by now. The first reported pandemic of this sort occurred in Egypt in the 6th century, and the last significant one broke out in Hong Kong, China in the 19th century. Plague Fochi still exists in Africa, Asia, and North and South America, but thanks to antibiotics and vaccination, it is easily treated and hardly lethal at all. In the 21st century, there were 5,596 recorded cases of plague between 2010 and 2017 in the world, out of which 786 cases had a fatal outcome. Most cases occurred in Madagascar, Africa, and Peru. In the U.S. in the 20th and 21st century, there have been 1,040 cases, and recently an average of 7 cases per year is reported. 2. Smallpox The exact time of the first smallpox infection is unknown, but it is suspected that it dates all the way back to 10,000 BC, and it is possible that Pharaoh Ramses V was infected by it or even died from it in 1156 BC. This infection is caused by the variola virus and humans are the only natural hosts. It is transmitted through direct contact with the infected person or their bodily fluids. It's not typically airborne, but it can linger in enclosed spaces, such as buildings and buses. An incubation period lasts approximately 12 to 14 days during which period the person is not contagious. The first symptoms are flu-like, followed by small spots in the oral cavity. After that, the rash starts to appear on the face and to spread over the other parts of the skin, in pustules filled with fluid which may take up to two weeks to subside during which period they shouldn't be scratched for the scars they leave behind stay for life. In the 18th century, the fatality rate for adults was around 30%, and for infants, it went even higher, to 80 to 98%. One third of survivors lost their sight after the infection. However, once you survive this infection, your immune system developed a natural resistance to another infection. This helped scientists fight the disease in the future. They started infecting non-immune people on purpose. This was a bit risky, so some people developed smallpox and some even tuberculosis or syphilis. But it turned out that those people had quite lesser fatality rates than those naturally infected. In the 18th century, Dr. Edward Jenner developed the vaccine which we still use today and protected an 8-year-old from the disease. Benjamin Jesty and Dr. Jenner used material from cows with cowpox to make synthetic protection against this infection after they realized that dairy maids with cowpox never contracted smallpox. The smallpox infection has been eradicated worldwide since 1977 due to successful mass vaccination which started in 1967. This virus could still be used as a bioweapon, however the actual risk is quite low since there is a large amount of vaccines stockpiled worldwide. 3. SARS – Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome a sudden outburst of SARS in 2003 caused a lot of concern among people. Its symptoms are similar to those of a common cold and its origin is in the same viral family. However, this is a previously unfamiliar coronavirus. Two to ten days after contraction of the virus, high fever, body aches, headaches and sometimes diarrhea start showing. The most troublesome symptom was breathing with severe difficulty and pneumonia that developed in most patients. By the end of the year, 774 people out of 8,098 lost their lives. 
Similarly to other coronaviruses, SARS also spreads through close contact with an infected person or their saliva. SARS is believed to have started in China, originating in bats, which were carriers of the virus, and which later infected civets before the virus mutated, which meant that humans were now exposed to it. The virus was contained within a year, having spread to more than two dozen other countries. Coronaviruses rapidly mutate and are unpredictable, which is one of the most concerning facts. But another outbreak was prevented through public health measures with only a few cases reported since 2003. There has, however, been another coronavirus similar to SARS afterward, called MERS, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, which is also sometimes fatal to many patients. MERS can cause severe respiratory and kidney failure and has mostly been reported in Saudi Arabia, often linked to camels, which might be the carriers of it. Since the beginning of 2020, its fatality rate was over 34%. Despite high fatality rates of SARS and MERS, these strains were quite easily and promptly contained and beat. This does not, however, mean that all strains of coronavirus behave similarly, as has been proven that their behavior is unpredictable and their ability to adapt and change quite high. Or Avian Influenza Avian influenza or bird flu was first recorded in Italy in 1878 and had since had sporadic outbreaks worldwide. It is common among wild aquatic birds, which can easily spread it to other domestic birds, and thus spread to humans. Mid-21st century, it was uncovered that it was an influenza type A virus. From January 2003 to May 2020, 861 cases of human infection have been reported worldwide, and over 50% of those had a fatal outcome. In order to prevent the spread of the disease after an outbreak in 2015 and 2016, millions of specimens of poultry were destroyed. The H7N9 and H5N1 strains are most likely to infect humans, but not the only ones. The last case of avian influenza was reported in April 2019 in Nepal. 5. Ebola Ebola is a severe and usually fatal disease caused by Ebola filovirus. Approximately 50% of infected patients die from this infection. Ebola was discovered in 1976 and bats are considered to be a natural reservoir of this virus. From bats, the virus is ready to spread to humans and from one human to another, after a direct contact, through broken skin for example, with an infected person or animal, either living or dead, or with contaminated objects such as needles. A major outbreak of this virus occurred from 2014 to 2016 in some African countries, and the fatality rate was approximately 50%. The most common symptoms, which occur after approximately 8 to 10 days since the exposure to the virus, include fever, severe headaches, muscle pain and weakness, diarrhea, vomiting, bleeding and bruising, and near half of the cases have a fatal outcome. Survivors of this disease, however, develop antibodies which protect them from a further infection for up to 10 years. The risk of another outburst of this disease is higher in countries with poorer health systems and where this virus is prevalent among many wild animals. Even though Ebola is still present in some African countries, a vaccine has been available since late 2019, but the longevity of its protection is unknown. 6. Leprosy Leprosy is an infection caused by a slow-growing bacterium which affects nerve cells and has a long incubation period which can last from 2 to 5 years or even longer. The initial symptoms usually include numbness or loss of feeling in the affected area of skin. Even though it is not highly contagious, it has been feared and misunderstood throughout history. Initially considered as godly punishment, patients were often stigmatized and looked down on. Symptoms can differ from one patient to another, and they progress in the time from mild skin lesions to blindness, deformity, and severe facial disfigurement. Leprosy still exists today, but it is treatable with extremely lengthy combined antibiotic treatment which can last for more than six months. People who live in low-lying, humid, tropical and subtropical countries such as India are more susceptible to it. In the US, most cases of leprosy involved immigrants from developing countries, and two got it from armadillos which turned out to be carriers of this bacteria. Even though it is curable, the deformities and nerve damage that occurred prior to treatment are irreversible. 7. Polio Polio is an infectious disease that is usually fatal and has a crippling effect. Children under 5 are most susceptible to it. Even though there were some epidemics during the late 19th century, the disease mostly raged in the 1940s and 1950s, which was the reason for a worldwide vaccination. Polio is caused by a polio virus, which is very contagious and resilient. It spreads from person to person, 
especially through contact with the infected person's feces, which remains infectious for weeks. More than 70% of infected people have no symptoms. Some have flu-like symptoms, sore throat, fever, headache, etc., which develop in a week or two after the contraction of the virus. A small number of these patients develop more severe symptoms such as burning limb pain, brain infection, limb weakness, and paralysis, which can all lead to permanent disability or even death. It became possible to prevent the development of polio with the introduction of the vaccine and to even eradicate it in the future. Since 1988, the number of polio cases decreased from approximately 350,000 to 33 cases in 2018. In the U.S., there hasn't been a case of naturally occurring paralytic polio since 1979.